Welcome to In the Know by Diane Schindler. This is Diane Schindler speaking. I'm the host of In the Know, the podcast show. I'm an author, a presenter, a solo nomad, a travel blogger, and a photographer. So this podcast show includes writing tips, travel tips, and my views of life from savvy and thoughtful to quirky and humorous. I hope you enjoy the show. Hello, today I want to talk to you about walking again. The benefits of walking, my walking Paris experience, and now my walking here on Amelia Island. So we've all read about the benefits of walking. As you know, walking increases heart and lung fitness. It reduces the risk of heart disease and stroke. It develops stronger bones and improved balance. Well, dancing is good for that too. <laughs> and it reduces body fat. It also, it also improves the management of conditions such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, joint and muscular pain or stiffness, and even diabetes. And for me, just for me, the most important benefit is that walking decreases my muscle pain and stiffness and it increases my strength and endurance. Just this last June, this solo nomad, I went to Paris and met a group of Amelia Island friends. Yeah, yes, I actually engaged in group travel. And note, it's not that I avoid group travel with friends. Rather, it is highly unusual for me to find friends who want to go to the same place at the same time that I do. So when people ask me why I travel alone, my answer always is people have their own lives. They have their own interests in visiting specific countries and they have their own time frame. So if I waited for people to go with me before I traveled, I would likely never travel. So this, this Paris trip was indeed a very special trip for a few reasons. I had a great time with my friends. We ate and drank and we drank and we ate and we ate and we drank and we laughed until we cried and we explored. I learned more about them because we were together virtually every minute and the best, I love them even more. As you may know, this was my second trip to Paris. I learned so much more about this incredible city this time. The first time I went to the French Open, which was lovely, it rained, the, great, the most rain Paris had in the history of time. <laughs> so it was a little bit challenging, but this trip was really lovely. And the most important to this podcast, I walked over 98 miles in eight days. Yeah, 98 miles in eight days with my trusty Fry combat boots. Not only was I walking, but I looked cool. I want to take a moment to thank all of you for listening and supporting In The Know. Thanks to you, the few years In The Know has aired has been excellent and so much fun. And now I'm expanding the episode beyond travel and writing and the fun and quirky topics that interest you and that interest me. I'm expanding, actually enhancing the mission of In The Know to include interviews with writers and authors of fiction, nonfiction, poetry, short stories, blogging, and more. I've also upgraded my studio equipment for a much better sound. All of this, especially the interviewing, is a way to inform and enlighten the in the know audience and bring attention to outstanding people, their works, and also augment their marketing plans to sell their books and their poetries and their writing. I invite you to join me for an interview, your very own interview. For more information, please check the show notes for this episode where you will find my email address as well as the request for interview form. 
Thank you so much. But why? Why is all this walking so important? Well, many of you may know, while I was in Chiang Mai, Thailand, from last March to May, I suffered from a mystery physical ailment that went undiagnosed for two months. I had lots of horrible pain, from muscle pain to joint pain, I had, and I had trouble moving. I lost a serious amount of muscle tone. Actually, I also lost 14 pounds. I finally left and went back to the United States to get to the Mayo Clinic and stay with friends so I could get well. I returned in early May, and here it is January 2020, and my, and my illness still remains somewhat of a mystery. My rheumatologist is leaning toward a virus which is still in my body, even now, six months later, but honestly, I am so, so much better. go back to Paris for the moment. I was on medication at the time I was in Paris. And that medication was pretty successful at reducing inflammation and masking pain. But the walking, the walking, the walking, and it's worth repeating over 98 miles in eight days. Every single day, I felt better and better. My tight muscles loosened. More specifically, my tight hamstrings had caused me to walk with knees bent and butt out. No kidding. I looked just like I had a stick up my butt. How attractive is that with my combat boots? (laughs) It was pathetic. But walking, and especially walking uphill, changed all of that. I actually began walking upright without stiffness. The pain was less sharp and gradually became minimal. I could move. I felt normal again when the truth is there were many times I just knew this pain and misery and muscle tightness was going to be how it was for the rest of my life. Furthermore, and this might be TMI, too much information, If it is, I apologize, but but the truth is I had two to three drenching night sweats almost every night. I swear, it was like the virus toxins leaving my body, leaving my muscles after my daily walks. So here it is January 2020, a full six months from my Paris experience, and I'm still walking. Yes, only about seven to eight miles per week right now, but I'm also bike riding. By the way, to digress, I hope you had a chance to listen to my podcast entitled The Answer to Aging, colon, Check Your Tires. (laughs) It's all about bike riding. I'll have a link in the episode notes so that you can access that podcast if you would like. So I'm doing bike riding and I'm walking with lots of stretching and exercises every single morning. I am so much better, honestly. Walking. It's like a miracle. Just simple walking. It was a kickstart to my path to recovery. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you next time on In The Know. Thank you for listening to In The Know. If you would like to support In The Know, you can do so by subscribing and sharing with your family and friends. You can like the episode, you can leave a comment, and even add a rating. Your support is very important to the success of the show. Thank you so much for listening, and see you the next time on In The Know.